Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we're going to have a guide on how to play the much underrated Sentinel Titan. A lot of people hear the word Titan in Destiny 2 and immediately think of the popular and powerful Striker. Now that subclass is indeed very strong, but people tend to overlook the potential of Sentinel as its playstyle isn't as directly obvious and that's where we come in. If played with the right gear and in the right way, Sentinel can be devastating. I was shocked when I fully realised how good it was myself as I'm a Striker fanboy through and through. So let's break down the Sentinel kit to find out what we should be doing. First let's deal with grenades, jump styles and class abilities. We'll break down what we'll be using for both PvE and PvP environments as there are a few subtle differences. For PvE I use void wall grenades for the damage and zoning potential, rally barricade for the instant reloads and strafe lift for the greater aerial options. For PvP I still use strafe lift but I swap out to the towering barricade and the suppressor grenade. This grenade choice is optional really, suppressor is actually very underrated, it stops enemies being able to use any abilities at all. No healing rifts, no hunter dodges, no jump abilities, even active supers are shut down. It's incredible. The only worry is that if you yourself are hit by your own suppressor grenade splash, you'll suffer the effects too. Its damage isn't bad either at 140 in a 7 meter radius. Just having that shutdown utility is a great option for more competitive modes like Trials and Iron Banner too. Now that we've dealt with the basics, let's move on to the skill tree of choice. Now in my opinion, the strongest possible tree with the most available synergy is Coda the Protector. The playstyle is very specific. What you need to remember is that playing this class is playing a melee class in all practical senses. That doesn't mean never shoot, it just means you'll be looking to take advantage of your close range perks. Defensive Strike is the cornerstone of this strategy. On kill, this will give you an overshield, while the Turn the Tide perk will grant further increased melee damage and faster reloads. This combo lasts for 20 seconds after the initial kill. The melee damage buff is significant, enough to kill a surprising amount of adds and even mages very quickly. Enemy players in PvP will require less shooting before you can insta-kill them as well. It really is very strong. The overshield will keep you alive through your melee rampage and even after it's done you can rely on the second perk, Rallying Force, to keep you standing. The fact Rallying Force gives you a small amount of health for every melee kill, special or regular, is something most players overlook. You can just keep punching adds and keep getting health as that perk is passively active all the time. So the short sentinel guide for PvE is just punch things, punch things all the time. PvP is a little bit more subtle as you can die very easily if you just balls out rush into the open, but there are weapon and armour choices you can make to make playing both PvE and PvP easier. Let's cover weapons first. I found the most fun and effectiveness using the MIDA synergy. So that's both the MIDA multi-tool and the mini tool SMG. The reason being, these give you a massive agility boost, particularly the mini tool, then that in turn gives you the room to build your armour for resilience and recovery stats. Using the mini tool in this way is a real joy actually, jumping around, meleeing to proc the defensive strike, then continuing to melee and spray down everything in sight. With Coda the Protector you want to be close up getting the most out of your perk set at all times. An SMG which grants you amazing speed is actually exactly the kind of weapon that you want to be using. Not only that, but because the mini tool is an energy weapon, you can break major shields easily and then just punch your way to victory. A quick side note, SMGs are also good while being shot from mid-air. This is good because meleeing is easier if you're above your target. For some reason, if you're below what you're trying to melee, you won't always lock on. Being level or slightly above your target will yield much greater success. This is true in PvP as well. The Mida Scout really is your secondary weapon in this playstyle, only to be used for things well outside of your range or for PvP enemies who are stubbornly playing defensive against you. For your armour choice, there really is only one option that I recommend, and that's the Doomfang Pauldron Exotic Glove. This is amazing for Sentinel and particularly good for this melee oriented playstyle. So what this exotic does for you is twofold. One, it will make kills with defensive strike build your super faster, great for PvE as that's what you're looking to base your playstyle around anyway, and it's not too bad for PvP either, you might even get a second super if you have a particularly good game. Secondly, shield bash kills in your super will recharge your shield throw ranged attack, that's crazy. Normally you only get one or two shield throws depending on your perk tree. With this you can basically keep alternating as long as you keep getting kills. We haven't even mentioned the super yet, which is way more than the gimmick people dismiss it as. Here's why the Sentinel super is amazing. With Code of the Protector, you get an optional bubble super as well if you want. Extra utility, fantastic. But the real killer edge it has is in being at the same time a ranged super with shield throw and a roaming one with shield bash. Plus, and this is way better than people give it credit for, you can shield yourself from incoming damage. You can use that to keep yourself alive or to zone people away from you to create space for your teammates to follow up behind you. 
Sentinels have way more dexterity in their super than most other classes, and I found myself being way more productive with it than Fist of Havoc. The outplay potential is huge, the only thing it lacks is instant shutdown potential, so don't try and use it in that way. The PvE playstyle for this class should by now be fairly obvious. Use speed and SMGs to get in close, and then just start swinging. For PvP, there is a slightly more nuanced meta game at play. Your goal is still the same, get in close, kill with defensive strike to get an overshield, and then spray and punch relentlessly until everything is dead. But human players will pick up on you trying to rush pretty quickly, and you can easily trade or outright die before your overshield can save you. So because of that, you have to learn to play a little smarter. Try to play standard a little bit more, use your Mida scout to engage sensibly at medium to long range if that's how your opponents are playing it, but always be on the lookout for an opportunity to use your biggest weapon. Once a close fight presents itself, SMG someone's shield down then melee to bring up overshield and the bonus melee damage. That's when you're at the distinct advantage. In most situations, enemy teammates will try and trade you at close range with a melee if you've killed one of their teammates, but if you've activated defensive strike, they're in your house now. They're the ones that should be scared. Spray shields, just keep punching. If it was a close fight to begin with, they might be low HP anyway, and you can easily finish off a bunch of players due to your perk setup. Using Suppressinate as an aggressive tool is a great option as well. If an enemy is suppressed as you take a duel with them, they're in a much worse position to fend off your rush. If you suppress a bunch of enemy players, say on a control flag, that's almost a guaranteed win for your team. Other classes like Striker or Voidwalker might be more broadly practical, but Sentinel has a really sharp edge in a particular setting. Play to its strengths and you'll be having so much fun you won't be able to stop. I couldn't, and that's coming from a striker main. High praise indeed. A final note on the other sentinel skill tree, Code of the Aggressor. It's okay, but it's more of a generic class with less of a defined playstyle. It has the shield bash melee which you activate while sprinting, which disorients players on hit, it has bonus grenade energy from grenade kills, and you can also get an extra shield throw charge in your super, and your super will charge faster from kills when surrounded. As I say, it's pretty good, it's just not as sharp or synergistic, and therefore, at least to me, way less fun. I really hope you found this video useful, if you did, please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another video of ours again, please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad, you'll be in good company. And finally, please check out our Twitter, it's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump, and until next time, 